So this question starts off with this equation here. We have H equals 1.88L plus 32.01. The question goes on to say the formula above can be used to approximate the height, H, so we know that H represents height, in inches of an adult male based on the length, L, in inches of his femur. Okay. What is the meaning of the 1.88 in this context? Well, what context? The context of like its position in this equation. So what I want to draw your attention to is that the format of this equation really looks a lot like y equals mx plus b, okay? So, you know, pay attention to this. This happens every so often on the test where really the question is asking you a y equals mx plus b type of question in which you'll need to understand the meaning of an m value or the meaning of a b value. But all they've done is switch out the variables, right? So for us, y, or a, y becomes h here. m is given as 1.88. x becomes l and B, our y-intercept, is the 32.01. So we know that this 1.88 that we're being asked about represents the slope. Well, how do we find a slope, right? So a slope, you should know the equation y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I'm going to shorten that to say, well, that's just the change. This little triangle represents the symbol. This is a symbol that represents the word change. Change in y value with respect to a change in x, okay? Now, if I convert this into the variables that were given in our question, that change in y would turn into a change in h, right? Because y and h correspond with each other. Over, instead of a change in x, right, it will be a change in l. So this 1.88 is equal to this change in height with respect to a change in the femur length. So let's see which answer choice matches that. So choice A says the approximate femur length in inches, automatically that's wrong, right? 1.88 is not the femur length, so that's gone. Choice B, the approximate increase in a man's femur length. Uh, again, that is not length, right? We're looking for a change in height to length, so that's gone. Choice C, the approximate increase in a man's femur length. Again, that's wrong. Choice D, the approximate increase in a man's height. There we go, right? We want the height in inches for each one inch increase in a femur length. So here we are relating height to length. So therefore, D is the right answer.